Hey boo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kendra Nicole here. If you're new and if you're returning, it's always nice to see you guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I basically revamp this wig. Okay, I had dyed it previously in some mischief dutty, I don't even know, je ne sais pas quoi couleur. And I decided to try the um, bleach bath method and then re-dye it into these two beautiful colors which are my favorite like two of my favorite colors and this is how we came out guys so if you're interested to see how we did it the process from beginning till end stay tuned thanks for watching so in my goodie box i had one bottle of the arctic fox cruelty free vegan 100 percent semi-permanent hair color dye in the sunset orange and then i had gotten kiss temptation in the hunter green and i had three bottles of this Yo, I had to pause the music just to explain this to you guys. Okay, so a few months ago, I was trying to be way too ambitious and try to do like a multicultural wig. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Is she, do you oh, think she's, she's she's dumb? dumb. A multi a multicolored wig. Whoa, speech. So I had bought this wig from IC here. I still have the package in and whatnot. Forgot what it came with, so don't ask me. But I tried to do, I don't even remember the colors I tried to do, but this is how it came out. Some may like it, some may still rock it, some may be like, wow, like that's different. I'm cool with it. I wanted to rock it because I felt like, okay, it's, it's different. It's like dark fall. It's given, it's given dark fall, <laughs> you know, dark fall. You know, I like the blue. I definitely like the blues in there. Can't lie. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to try to do is cancel out these colors and try to correct my mistake and re-dye it the hunter green and the arctic fox sunset orange and make it a more brighter fall colored wig so we're gonna go bleach it i feel like i should dye it black first and then lift the color with it i feel like that makes sense i feel like that makes sense or should I just bleach it? Hmm. Anyways, you guys will see what I decided to do in the next step. So let's go. So obviously what made sense was to just do a bleach bath right off the bath. You're going to just need like a plastic bin or a glass bin, whatever. You can pour some boiling hot water in because you're definitely going to need hot water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my blonde meat bleach as well as a 30% developer. Um, I believe you can go higher but I think like just 30 for everything just always works for me when it when it comes to bleaching knots or for this procedure um, I have conditioner in the back as you can see I didn't end up using it which I regretted later because the hair was stiff after I washed it out so I highly recommend maybe adding a little bit of conditioner not too much just a little bit um, in this process um, for the bleach bath I did condition the hair afterwards don't get me wrong I really honestly truly like this method more than actually like bleaching it from scratch and like going roll by roll this is so convenient it saves so much time whoever invented this like i love innovative people i love people that could just come up with things that can help out the lazy community like myself my hand is all the way up right now if y'all if y'all could have seen me anyways so as you saw i added some bleach and like about two and a half cups which i will like it will add up when you see i'll add when you see later i added more bleach and developer i'm just gonna go ahead and really mix that in together properly make sure everything is nicely dissolved in the water and then i'm gonna dip the wig inside so right now the water is a nice like sky blue baby blue and you're gonna see how fast this uh bleach bath works as soon as I dipped the wig inside of this bath, like it turned into, it went from blue to like a coffee with like three, like with two milks and one cream, I would say. Like 
that's the way the water started to turn. I was just like, oh, like this really works. Like this is about to be my new thing for every wig, like that I have to um, lift the color on. Like what? Thank you again to the person who invented this method. Um, so you're gonna leave it in for 30 minutes. If you see that it is that it worked um, before the 30 minutes, you can go ahead and rinse it out. Um, longer time, I'm not quite sure if it's recommended, but again, like 30 30 minutes is like you know the average or the minimum. Um, I I personally wouldn't suggest going over it because, like I said, the hair was very stiff. Could have been because I didn't add the conditioner or not, but it's an experiment. I'm going to try again to see what difference it will make. So this is where I added the extra bleach and developer because I just wanted to just make sure that this comes out like how I need it to come out to do the next step of coloring it. Um, once I took it out of the bleach bath, when I tell you the color was giving me Beyonce Honey Blonde with the highlights, I was so tempted to keep it this way. Honestly, and mind you, I, I recently just got a wig from Nadula here in the same color, which only difference is the style is a curly style. So if you guys didn't see that video, make sure you check it out. Um, but I was really tempted. And I was just like, no, like let's stay focused, Kendra. Like you had a you had a main goal. Stick to the main goal and don't disappoint the booze. Like they're here to see a color transformation. Let's give them that. So yeah. <music> I need somebody who loves me naked. Intermission done. <laughs> okay, what do we got here, boys and girls? We got sorcery. Do you guys see how nice this came out? Like, you guys understand why I was so tempted to just be like, okay, well, this is it. I'm just going to condition this bad boy and turn it out and call it George. Wow. Wow, I'm never going back, guys, and neither should you after trying this method for yourself because, like I said, it's just very convenient. And you know, like when you do, um, when you bleach wigs, like it has like such a strong scent. With this method, I don't find it's as strong. Like you still smell the scent, but it's really not that bad. It's very bearable. All right, so now it's the fun part, which you guys are here for. Like, how did I get from one color to the next color? Uh, without it being noticeable noticeable at all okay um, so what I did I just I wanted a middle part because I knew like I wanted the two strands in the front to be orange and the rest of the hair on top to be hunter green I only used a little bit like a little bit maybe like a teaspoon or no maybe a tablespoon of the arctic or orange and I used about two and a half bottles of the kiss temptation hunter green so I'm going to go back in because I just want to, oh, and I added developer to both colors. Um, I researched and I saw that that really helps a lot with the color process. So yeah, I did that. So I just went back in and I just perfected the middle part because like I said, I really wanted this to come out like, like if I went to the salon and did this or if I bought this wig from like one of the best wig sellers in the world, okay? So I made sure to leave perfect that. I just took a random strand of hair and I mirrored it on the next side as well and making sure like it started at the same cut, if you get what I mean. And then I'm just adding the color orange to that strand on the top, on the bottom, on the sides, uh, combing through it to make sure that the color is evenly distributed throughout each strand. Hey Ash, what's up? I see you in the background, girl. Um, and yeah. I did it to both sides. Once I was done, I took some faux paper to kind of just um, separate the orange hair from the rest of the hair and I made sure to add a faux paper on the top of it as well. So when I went in on the top with the um, hunter green, it didn't like mesh together and you know like, you know chop up the whole style for me. Okay? So yeah. After that. We get to my favorite part, the hunter green, which I was so excited. Like, I looked at so many reviews to make sure, like, okay, if I use this hunter green, like, it's really going to give me the hunter green. I don't want no olive green. I don't want no lime green. I don't want no other type of green but hunter green. Like, it needs to be dark green, okay? 
So I was really excited about that when they when I watched it out and saw like okay yeah like it's really that green and from the reviews that I um, read like it really was given what it was, what it was supposed to give. So yeah, um, in the back over here, um, I just used Hunter Green again. Um, you're gonna apply I applied the dye at the top, at the bottom, put my fingers through it to make sure it's rubbing through, comb through it to make sure that it is even evenly distributed on um, onto each strand. And um, after that I section that part out with some full paper and the rest of the hair I basically show you guys how I do the ombre to give it that like or like it's like it's not as orange as the front, but it's like like a burnt orange, I could say, like an autumn orange, which gives, which makes this wig so perfect for the fall. Like I love the color. It's, it reminds me of like the leaves, basically, like turning from green to orange or green and red. Totally love it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that, um, and all that good jazz, and yada yada. So you're gonna, I did the, I just did the same steps like I did in the back, adding the green to the top, underneath, to the sides, wherever, um, sorry, excuse me, combing through it, just to make sure it's evenly distributed, and then I'm gonna basically choose my, in my mark of indication of where I want to start with the orange color, boom, right there, and basically, you know I don't want when I do an ombre color that it's like so set like okay it's like it's green and then it's orange like I want it to have an ombre effect like it's it's fading into a different color like I love that type of look so um, you're gonna see how I do that basically mixing the two colors together and making sure that when I wash it out it has a nice ombre look and not such a defined like okay the green stopped here and then the orange started here no we don't want that not at all suggest you leave it in for because I'm just like nope I don't trust it I need to make sure that it comes out the way I want it to come out so we're gonna leave it in for like 24 hours I'm just kidding um, but it was more like like I'll say like six hours yeah yeah I do here oh yeah so I use some you know heat protectant spray my got to be guard angel guard um, I also use like this color spray like to you know preserve the color while you straighten the hair type thing and then more to the top top I use my uh, Chantu flaxseed um, wax stick to make sure like it's like laid and yeah I don't really spend too much time like showing you guys how to straighten hair because I feel like you all know how to straighten hair, you know? Um, but if you guys want that type of video, I can definitely do a video of me just straightening a wig for you guys. I got the time right now, so it's no biggie. And um, yeah. <laughs> this video if you reach this point my hair was in crochet I pretty much just took out the crochet and the leave out my leave out that I had in the front I just like combed them 
I just combed it to like the corners I already had so I'll take out one corner and just add like a piece and just corner it back since I didn't have time to do all that whole wash and go stuff that we're not going anywhere right now um, I really really love the way this wig came out I love the color you guys see the ombre like let's see how the gradient goes like oh my god yo this is my favorite wig this is my favorite wig I know I say that every wig that I do is my favorite wig but no this is my favorite wig right now it just looks so bomb it really looks like a professional did it and I need to stop saying that because I need to claim it for myself as well humbly and just like know like you know like be proud of myself you know like I did that I really did and it came out bomb I really, really love it so the rest of the video are pretty much just you know doing the basics cutting off the lace um, I add a little bit of foundation to where I felt needed some foundation then you know I just you know put on a little one to look cute outfit for you guys so the look can look so the look can look complete and then that's about it so if you guys reached this far don't forget to give me a like and leave your blessings down in the comments if you enjoyed this video let me know um, what you guys think of the wig and the color and if you didn't like this video I mean tell people who let me goes on and as per usual boo see you guys in my next video stay blessed and stay safe ciao